Hello, hello, Rafael. Hello. Early to class. I like that. Welcome, welcome, sir. Welcome, 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 gerente. Hello, hello. Who is the manager? Who is the manager? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Don't, no worries, no worries. Yo tengo uno que me sale, cuando me sale, me sale master, master. Así, ¿no? <laughs> eh, no sabe, pues, I was in a meeting before. Sorry. No, that's okay. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what does what does RRPP stand for, Bessie? Public relations on Spanish. Oh, Relaciones públicas. Relaciones públicas. You got it. It, it. That's like saying. Um, I think there was another one that I saw. Uh, human resources, right? It's like double H. Exactly. And double it's the same. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much for that, Bessie. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Let's see. We're waiting for everybody to join. We'll start welcoming, welcome, welcoming them as they come in. Welcome to class. <laughs> Good evening, Jose. Hello. Jorge, welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Jose. How was your day? It was very, you know, I had to go to, I don't know if you guys, let me tell you a quick story. Well, hello, Delby. Hello, Vanessa. Come on. Hola, Vanessa. Hola, Delby. Hola, Jose. Hello. Hola, Jorge. Rafael. Hello. Good evening. I was going to tell you a story about the post office. Now, for a long time, you know, I, I, to tell you the truth, have you guys written a letter to anybody lately, like a physical letter? Have you guys, have you done that? No. Everything through email or messaging, well, you mean like WhatsApp, like, uh, you know, Facebook chat or el, el famoso messenger, right? So I, 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 I got a letter today and instead of getting the letter at my house, I actually had to go physically go pick it up at the post office, which was shocking because I didn't even know we had a, a post office. Um, it was, it was, I know I, it sounds kind of weird, but but I hadn't received a letter, you know, I received letters before from Matt <coughs> Dikong, but, but there's always a messenger. There's a guy that comes and they brings the letter and I always ask him, you know, I, I always say, hey, where did you pick up the letter? And they tell me, no, no, we went to the central and then, you know, they, they have the letters and then they give us the whole bunch of letters and then we have to come and deliver them. And I was like, okay. So I thought everything like that, I thought everything was like that, but I got a letter and, and I had to go to the post office. And so it, it was like, brand, everything was like brand new to me. You know, I was like in shock and I was asking questions and I was like, how do you, how does this work? And you know, what is this? And the guy, the guy, the guy kept looking at me and he was like, what the hell? Man, porque más que me pongo así todo, mire aquí, 
<laughs> y esto cómo funciona usted y, y, y el señor como que at the beginning maybe he thought that I was kind of making fun of, of the situation but then he kind of kind of said no maybe he is a little bit lost and so it was shocking it's my first letter in about wow for uh, forever <laughs> and uh, so the letter is it was actually weird because the letter is from from a, a friend of mine in the United States. So I immediately started chatting and I said, why did you send a letter? That was kind of weird. You know, why did you send a letter? And then, <laughs> and then my friend said, well, I just wanted to see if it worked. And I was like, well, yeah. All right, but but that's enough, that's enough. How many, how many of you guys have had to go to the post office? Any post office? No, you guys haven't gone to the post office? I have oh, to. You have yes. to okay, all right. Yes. Well, 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 let me tell you that it's amazing, right? Um, <laughs> it's it's other experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's really it's really amazing. They have like these big old boxes of everything, and wow. and you know me being a uh, sito me teacher, right? I would I would ask the the guys that were working there. I was like, what's in there? You know, what's that? Who sent that? And you know they were kind enough. Some of them were like they showed me this little package, and there was some books inside. And I asked him, I said, and who sent that? And he said, people, people send everything. They send books, they send magazines. Um, you know, they send pretty much everything except letters. So I, I, that was, I don't know, for me, for, for me, it was a, an experience. Um, así que para el que, me, para que para José creo que me preguntó, how was my day and what did I do? It was shocking. It was interesting. And I'm going to say that it was magical. That's what I'm going to say. Hello, Iris. How's it going? We were talking about the post office and how it's a magical place. Bessie and I, Bessie and I absolutely love it. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. sometimes. All right. Well, welcome, 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 everybody. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys. They send a message in WhatsApp. Did you guys receive the message? Okay, so the first thing, the module ends on February 18th. That has been confirmed. It is confirmed that we are going to February 18th, which means that it is the four complete weeks, right? We finish on the 18th. Now, that makes it very interesting because according to the WhatsApp messages, we start the next module on February 22nd. And you guys have until February 10th to send in your documents. So February 10th is the final day for document reception because the class will start on February 22nd. Now, they sent uh, some requirements uh, one of them was for you guys to have your platform completed up to 80%. So you can send in your documents, but if your platform work is not completed to 80%, at least there's a risk, right? There's a risk that they might not include you for the next modules. Um, if you guys are planning on not continuing with the English classes, eh, bueno, a, a la fuerza ni los zapatos, ¿verdad? Entonces, you really, a, a la fuerza, we can't keep you. But let me tell you that I absolutely love doing what I do. Primero, eh, virtual, right? Uh, second of all, I believe that um, you, you guys are not having to pay for any of these classes. So it makes it a little bit better for you guys, for your pockets. Um, I know that it's, you know, some people say, well, you know, uh, en, en tal academia te dan trabajo as soon as you finish. Well, they don't really give you the job. You know, you still have to do your part. Go to the interviews, do, you know, everything that you have to do to be able to get into the position. Now, of course, what they do is they prepare you for the interview by telling you what they're going to ask you and practicing that conversation. Which, which to me, it's it's not really learning English. Yeah. Nah, es, vos estás de perico. 
Ellos te están enseñando cómo contestar a una pregunta, pero en realidad, si se salen afuera de esa pregunta, then, you know, where, where do you stand? You know, or how do you continue? So, um, what we try to do is we try to do kind of like a general overview of English conversations and English in general, right? So that you have a working conversational English level. And it doesn't matter what they ask you, you should be able to answer and have that conversation and back and forth, right? So that's the idea of what we're doing. And so I les pido de favor to, to think it over, right? If you guys are planning on, on not continuing, we want you to stay, I want you to stay, right? I wanna see you guys in, in later modules. Um, so what you guys can do is, you guys can start preparing your documents Start sending those documents as, as quickly as possible and then focus on getting, you know, uh, the correct percentage on the platform. Eh, otra razón es por la cual les pedimos que, que to really think it over and stay with us is because since Insaforp is, is, is pretty much doing all the funding for the classes, they are also keeping track of, of whether you complete the modules or not. Have you guys ever received a, a module for Insaforp, for anything. El último que yo recibí fue de Excel. Fue como, yeah, Raf, okay. All right. I, I've actually I've actually received a few. Uh, I received uh, PowerPoint. I received Excel. Um, I have taken um, how to provide feedback, um, how to act like a boss. You know, I, I took all of those. Imagine, imagine there's a, there's a module for that. And so, what happens is if you don't complete, you don't get certified uh, for the module, you, there's a risk that you might not be able to take any other classes within Saforp. So that's a big risk, right? Because we don't know if in the future you're going to need to take one of those classes. They're really good. They're really nice. Um, they give free food. So, you know, that's why I go because it's, you know, it's free food. But but you never know, right? So. Um, Really think it over, start putting together your documents, and remember that you guys have till February the 10th. Now, what you can do is you can complete your module, you can get certified for your module, and then if you are not able to join the classes because of work, then you know you can you can stop, you can actually kind of pause it and then come back at a later time when you're Cuando, cuando tengas un, un mejor horario, right? Or when your job allows you to come back and do some other classes. So, so uh, ojo con eso, ojo con eso. All right. So before we get started, do you guys have any questions about uh, what's happening and what are the dates? February 18th, ¿qué, qué termina en febrero 18? The module. The module, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And February 22nd, ¿qué pasa February 22nd? We need to end the platform. We, well, we, we, we start the new module for February 22nd. Yeah. All right. February 10th, what happens? The last day to send the documents. That last day, that is correct. Last day to send the documents. And 80% is what? platform that is correct that is what we're looking to for to complete right now don't settle for the 80 percent like me right I, I usually leave it at 80 percent and i'm like okay I'm, I'm done try to go get that 90 or try to get that 100 percent make it a little bit better and play it safe all right y febrero 14 que pasa febrero 14 que le van a dar al teacher <laughs> ¿Qué le van a dar al teacher? Virtual. There we go, there we go. Todo, ajá. No, me teacher los chocolates y los ponen así contra todo el chocolate. Va. All right. All right. Well, welcome, welcome everybody to today. Uh, we are going to continue since now we have two more weeks. We're going to continue with our platform work. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen with you all. Have you guys ever heard people say y'all? 
you all. It's very common in Texas, Tennessee, um, Arkansas. And so instead of saying you all, right, they cut it, they split it, and then they say y'all. Now, the problem is that they use y'all for everything. Is y'all going to the movies, right? Where are y'all going? Y solo está vos ahí, you all. I'm not you all. Si solo es una persona, ¿por qué seguir diciendo you all? So even though it is very, very common for people to use it, it is actually not correct, right? It is not correct. Pero, eh, bah, there's a lot of people that use it. Do you guys have anybody that, that's, that, that has lived in Texas or, or family, friends? No, 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 no. Okay. Medio se van para allá y cuando, me cuando, oh, okay, all right. Marisa, yeah. Do they use y'all? Have you ever heard them in English say y'all? They never talk to me in English. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Yeah. We have to change that. You have yeah. to start telling them, let's talk in English, right? Yes. Help me practice, help me practice. Yes. Mi, teacher, mi teacher está ahí 24 horas, pero pues sí, verdad? O sea, I need your guys' help over here. Yeah. Let them know. So if you hear that, y'all, it's okay for you to use it. A coloquialismo, le dicen, right? And you are okay to use it. So let me go ahead and share my screen with sound. Hello, Madeline. Madeline, I sent out the information of the, the name, but I didn't, they haven't sent anything back yet, Madeline. So as soon as I get it, I will, I will send it to you, okay? Yes. Thank All you. right. Welcome to class. Welcome to class, everybody. Let me see who haven't I welcomed. Maricela, I think I did welcome you. I'm not really sure. Vanessa, sí, estoy seguro que sí. Daniela, creo que también. Iris, I did. Delme, yo sé que, es que sí. A ver, okay. Madeline, David, David, there it is. David, welcome. Welcome to class, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Here we go. We are here. Do you guys remember where we left off? What was the last item on the platform that we saw? Uh, Infinity clauses. I believe it. I believe it was. We finished it off with. Do you guys remember this one? The knowledge check two point two. Mal the knowledge check two point two. All right. So that one's still in green and nice. Okay. Let me go here and hit next. Oh, expressing ideas, really, vocabulary. Qualities for success. We're going to hold off on that one. Okay. Now, asking the question of platform work, how are you guys doing with the platform? Did you guys complete section one already? Section one, section one, sí, teacher, ya, no, no, todavía no, sí, sí, no. No. I don't. No, not yet. Okay. Oh, or, or did you finish, Jose? Section one. Yes. Okay. Section two. How, how are we doing with section two? Did we start it? Are we on track? Or did you guys already pass it? No, not yet, Vanessa. Okay. Jorge, just two. Section dos. Done. Com completo. Uh, almost finished, teacher. But nice. Okay. All right. Almost, almost finished. We're good. We're really, actually, really good. Weeks one and weeks two, you guys, we actually have the full two weeks to complete section one and section two. So we're still doing very, very good. In, incluso, once we have gotten into week number three, you guys should still be okay. E um, I forwarded, uh, there was an issue where, I, I, I can't remember. No, creo que fue en la clase anterior. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. So, let me know if you guys need any help along section one, once you guys start going through it, or uh, section two, 
since we have been working together on it, uh, it should be easy for us to kind of be able to, you know, help each other out. Acuérdense también que en el WhatsApp estamos todos, right? Yo todavía no veo nada ahí, no, no escriben, no, no pasa nada, no, no nada. Voy a tener que poner más fotos mías, fíjense, porque yo veo que there, there's nothing, y solo los de IT me contestan by el admin. IT and admin. Solo nosotros. I send you tomorrow, teacher. <laughs> there we go. There we go, Madeline. There we go. I love that. Yes. Okay. I was working all day. Oh, my goodness. And Madeline, thank Thinking you for bringing right. that up. Thank you for bringing that up. And, and I'm sorry I didn't ask today. Let me, let, let's go. Let's go through the, you know, the, the, our little welcome, welcome to class. And how was your day, Madeline? How was your day today? You mentioned that you were tired. Um, why why were you why are you tired i was working and uh, making guys oh, and okay. i sent my students of uh, electronic and tourism i i send the accounting and send i send guys uh, for a, a graphic design and Ooh, i i have okay. my student in seventh grade i'm all nah. day, I oh, was tired. Oh yeah. my goodness. Okay, Madeline. Okay. Take it easy, Madeline. Take it easy. Remember, <laughs> todo, todo ese dinero, nah, it's not going anywhere. You're going <laughs> to have to spend it someday. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mire que para, para gastarse ese dinero, le recuerdo que tiene un teacher alto, moreno, <laughs> que celebra el 14 de febrero. Oh, yes. <laughs> So, so please okay. keep that in, keep keep okay. keep that in mind, Madeline. Ho hey, Jose. I, I don't hear more more. <laughs> <Good evening. laughs> right, Maddie. Right. Okay. I I mean, let me see. Tell me, tell me, how was your day? I don't know. I was busy at work and doing some homework also. Nice. Okay. Well, yeah, that sounds nice. Let me see, Vanessa. Vanessa, what? How was your day? Uh, a very tired day because I am preparing a report, a report, but I can't do it because it's very um, with formulas and uh, I lost all my day trying to understand oh, how okay. I can prepare it. So, yeah, I have uh, that problem. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Vanessa. Okay, well, I hope, I hope you are able to, you know, to get your bearing and that you are able to to do it. Iris, you're next. How was your day, Iris? Well, um, my day was um, very busy. I uh, working about the maintenance, the, the building. Ooh, okay. And, and I'm out and I under the sun all day. I oh feel my tired goodness. Right oh, now. I could imagine. I could imagine, Iris. Okay, no, make Iris. sure. Yeah, make sure you make make sure you take care of you know the sun because the sun is very dangerous. Yo por eso ya no yeah, salgo the porque problem de, is the roof. De, demasiado chele y pues usted sabe Iris que nosotros los cheles <laughs> siempre tenemos ese problema. Yeah, I understand right. it's my my problem too. <laughs> <laughs> right? right? Thank you, Iris. Thank and you. And my blue eyes. And the blue eyes, yeah. Jorge, Good how morning. was your day? How was your day, Jorge? Okay, uh, my day is a uh, is a terrible because I had a little meeting with my boss. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. She sent me something about my work, and after that, uh, I return my house and I I take a a, a drink coffee with my wife, and after that I do my homework because uh, I don't uh, I didn't anything. Oh, I see, I see. After, after dinner, I try to do my homework. That'll work. Okay, Jorge. Now, Jorge, are you going back to work tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Then oh, we're good, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're good. We're good with that. <laughs> you know? Thank you. I, I don't, you know, I, I don't ever want to see a meeting where, you know, with a boss, right? So nice, nice, Jorge. Thank you so much. <laughs> David, David, thank you. How was your day, David? 
My day was be busy because okay. I I was working the whole day from seven a.m. to to seven p.m. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's ten hours or twelve. Yes, 12. ten hours, twelve. Oh my goodness, that's a long day, David. All right, well, you know, get yes. your rest, get your rest, my friend. All right, Jose, Jose, how was your how was your day? <clears throat> well, my day was not so good. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Uh, because today was my grandma's birthday, and she oh. passed away two years ago. Oh, and I was okay. missing her a lot. I could imagine. I could imagine. Um, two years ago, you said, well, you know what? My my grandmother from my father's side passed away about two years ago as well. Um, so, I, you know, I'm, I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. Uh, oh, if, you. If, uh, do you have do you have the custom of going to um, a la tumba with flowers and, and eating over there or or no? Yes, I, I went to, to the okay. grave to taking her flowers and it was yeah. very sad because I grew I grew up with her, mm -hmm. you know. She's like my mom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hard. That's always hard. Um, it's very, very sad because I don't really miss her. <laughs> I I could imagine. Yeah, Jose. All right. Well, you know, yeah. yeah, she's resting, right? Yeah. So let's just just remember, right? You have to take the flowers and you know go have that picnic over there. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I do. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, Jose. Bessie, Bessie, how was your day? Thank you for that, Jose. Hello. Hello, Bessie. Well, like uh, it was very busy too. I have to be in work at work very early because today we start um, a new model too within the four. I am giving a class in the morning and later I have to work. Nice, okay. In the office, so I have, today I have two works for six days. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, that's a lot of work, Bessie. I, I could totally, I totally understand. I totally feel you. Bessie, <laughs> eso significa que algún día voy a tomar yo una clase y usted va a ser la teacher. Y, y el ciclo, y el ciclo se ha completado el estudiante es el maestro. Oh. <laughs> and, the, and the student is going to be the teacher. There we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Thank you very much for sharing, Bessie. Great. Okay. Uh, Maricela, hello. Welcome. Maricela, we're sharing how your day is. How was your day? How was your day today? My day today was very busy. Okay. Uh, full of activities, uh, to professional activities. Okay. Uh, right. Mother, chef, teacher activity. So, wow! Yeah, that's very busy. To my son. Yes, yes. I was tired, but I like that. All right, staying uh, busy. Yes, but I like this class. I feel so. I. I a lot of. Laugh. I don't know what I say. Me río mucho. Yeah, laugh. Yeah, you laugh, laugh a lot. I, yeah, you yeah, laugh. I laugh a lot in this class. So thank you, teacher, for that. Hey, anyway. <laughs> no problem, no problem. It's My pleasure. To me, yes. My I pleasure. I took another. Uh, oh, I I had another classes, and really. Um, this class is the best class. Uh, to me. Nice. Yes. I like that. Yes, thank you, teacher, for that. No problem. Thank you. Maricela, ya pasó. No se preocupe. A, A plus. A ver, vamos a poner aquí. Yes, okay. vamos a ponerle. Va. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much, Maricela. Daniela, Daniela. Hello, Daniela. How was your day? My day was great today. Okay. I went to uh, pick up a diploma. Oh, and congratulations. Thank you. And I went to the thrift shop and I bought a book in English. So it's a challenge for nice. me right okay. now. Okay. 
Well, that's 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 good to hear. Thank you for that, Daniela. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Luis. Hello, teacher. Hello. How, are you? How you doing, Luis? I'm doing good. How was your day, sir? Oh, it was busy and a little bit complicated too. Okay. All right. I had problem with my internet connection for most of, of the day. Oh man. Um so I couldn't order products online because the bank reserved part of my part of the phone part of my funds that I have in my bank account. Oh my okay. Yeah, that's um, that's I was I was unable to transfer funds to one of my providers. It's so difficult. That is, yeah, that's hard. Um, I hope everything worked out well at the end. Yes, but uh, I couldn't make a transfers. Oh, man. It, it will be tomorrow, I think. Well, yeah, tomorrow is another day. And if still doesn't work, Luis, let me know. Y pues, si, ten, si tiene que ser cash, usted sabe que aquí hay cash. Cuente con su teacher. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank Luis, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. And I hope it works out for you okay. tomorrow. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you to you. Josue. Hello, Josue. How was your day, my friend? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Classmate. My day was a little hard because um, all, this, all this week I woke up at 5.30 a.m. because oh, okay. I had to take my girlfriend to her business and I drove for 10 kilometers per day to take her to her business. Yeah, and that's pretty. When I came back, I, I took a shower and, and I take, I had my breast packs and at 9 p.m. I started the training because I am applying for a company and it's from 9 to 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's a little hard uh, mm -hmm. learning many things. And, but it was cool because every day I learn something new. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. and some hours ago I spent time, uh, I spent my time at home with my girlfriend, we okay. dinner together. It was cool, but I feel I felt a little tired. That's it. I, once once you have made it to the it's training, cool. yeah. Once you have made it to training, Josué, that's it. That ya está el pie adentro. So all you have to do is kind of put it in cruise control and let Jesus take the wheel, my friend. You got it. All right, good to hear, good to hear. Thank you very much, Josue, for sharing. Uh, Rafael, Rafael, I know that sometimes we have problems with the internet and with the audio. How, how are you doing? Can you, can you, you can put it on chat, you can try to say how your day was, and I can voice it. I, I will be your voice, if you'd like, Rafael. Yeah. Almost, almost, we almost had it, Raf. We almost had it. Signal has been really bad these days. We heard a little bit towards the end. Okay. All right. We we yeah. Well, good to hear, Rafael. And so let me let me share with you guys a little bit of information when you ask somebody how was your day. Okay, um, there's different strategies. Um, I want to say that when you want to really hear a person or what they have to say, there's a way of saying it. And, and then depending also on how you want to follow it. Okay, so usually the most common is how was your day? Así comenzamos. ¿va? How was your day? That's, that's the question. Okay. How was your day? How was your day? And then you say it was hard. You know, that's the answer. So I'm going to put answer. It was hard. It was hard. Okay. So here you have two options. Now, do you really want to hear what that person was going through? 
or you, you, you were just asking to be nice, right? So th this is what you have to ask yourself. Do I really want to hear what's coming up, right? Or is it okay with just leaving it like that? So if you want to hear more, then you follow it up. How was your day? Oh, it was hard today. Oh, right? Oh, really? Why was that? Or why is that? And then the person will start saying, well, you know, I, I had a really hard day at work and then I had a hard day with traffic and it just kept getting worse. You know, um, I went to buy my lunch and me salió on dos pelos, not, not one, dos pelos en la sopa. And so it, it was just crazy, right? And you can either stop right there or you can keep going, right? Now, how do you get out of this hole? Well, you can say things like, and how did your, that's okay, Raph, that's okay, don't worry, don't worry, we got you. We heard a little bit of it, okay? So you could say something like, how did your day end? And then, so the whole story that somebody could have been telling you has to end, right? Oh, at the end, you know, everything was fine and I went home. Y ahí se acabó. Ahí vos quedas como héroe porque it sounds like you care and you really wanted to get involved and all that good stuff, right? Okay. Then there's the other version. How was your day? And then they answer with, it was hard. Well, if you don't want to know anything else about that, you can just say, oh my God, don't worry. It will be okay. Y ahí quedó. Ya no le hacen más preguntas. Don't worry, it, it will be okay. Or you can say something like, yeah, life is hard, right? Kind of like a little exclamation or a little phrase. Y hasta ahí llegó la conversación. Ya no se extiende más porque, pues, you're not giving, you're not opening up to that person. Now, um, we did have cases, por ejemplo, uh, Jose gave me an example of, you know, grandma's passing away. How do you react to something like that? Now, it doesn't have to be grandma. It could be any family member. Always, guys, if you guys are going to say, I'm sorry, no lo digan solo por decir, I'm sorry. You guys have to, you guys have to complete that phrase with I, and you can say something like, I am really sorry for your loss. Now, la palabra really, you don't have to use it. Some people think that it's too fake, right? So I only use it, for example, cuando es alguien bien cercano a mí. Like if it's somebody really, really close to me, they know that, you know, that we've been really, you know, we've had a really strong relationship. And so I'll say things like, I am really sorry. However, you don't have to use it. You can say, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. Teacher, now, yes, 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 Maddie. Uh, with a with a student, is it is it important to say really or not? But is uh, the student is not family, but uh, is is near from the right. teacher. That is correct. Yeah. So so you could say it's okay for you to say really. I am really sorry for your loss. Oh. So yes, it's okay for you to say it. Um, I would say. I, I would say in general, some people don't like it because it sounds bad. I really love you. What's the difference between I love you and I really love you? Hmm? Like, how do I know that you really love me as opposed to just loving me? It's the nearest. It's the nearest. Right, right. And so, so some people don't like it. Um, I actually, you know, I try... 
I try not to use it because I don't want to sound fake. I want to sound as natural and genuine as possible. And so I started just saying, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. Now, uh, if something similar happened to you, you can say, I know, I know how that feels like because my, you know, my parent passed away. Um, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Y ahí quedó, ¿verdad? Um, it is really not necessary to ask how the person died. So, you know, it's really, it's actually considered really rude. My, you know, my, my uncle passed away. ¿Y cómo se murió? Bad, because then you have to talk about it. Then you guys, what if it was like really bad? Ay, es que fíjate que, que una coster le pegó y lo, lo revolcó y le hizo pedacitos. Y, 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 oh, my God. And so you just, it just completely, it, it just really, really went bad, right? So remember. I think How? it's the same in Spanish, teacher. También, it's no, not no. good it's not asking good. about, yeah. Fíjate que yo sí pregunto en español. En inglés no pregunto, pero en español sí. Porque, I, I, you know, I think that maybe somebody wants to share. You know, I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll make a note. Note. Don't ask how they die. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it. All right. Okay. All right. So with that in mind, guys, remember, how was your day? And it, depending on how you want to interact with that person, you either ask more questions to follow up or you just make like a really strong comment, right? And then you kind of end it right there. All right. Okay, going back to our section 2.4, we're going to start the video. Here we go. Here we go, the video. Let me see if I have the volume. Yeah. Hi. How do what you say are sanctuary? important for success? Listen. How do you say, Mary? Sancudo. <laughs> Sancudo. Mos mosquito. 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 I, I'm mosquito. fighting with the mosquitoes. <laughs> I'm fighting. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Yo pensé que me estaba saludando, Madeline, pero ya estaba acostumbrada. <laughs> y la raqueta. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There are many, many. You want to play tennis? <laughs> sí, yo, 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 y la Madeline está jugando tenis ahí. Como que tiene el, como que tiene el Nintendo Switch. Oh, Madeline. Mosquitos. But yeah, we got it. Mosquito. <laughs> Or you can say mosquitoes, mosquitoes. Oh, All right, here we go. Here we go with the video. Here we go with the video. Ahí va, ahí va. Hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to the following list of adjectives. They will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable, gorgeous, industrious, muscular, slender, Clever, charming, knowledgeable, persuasive, tough, affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, well written. We want you to work with us. Think of a businessman, an actor, and a president. Now think of at least two qualities for each and write them down. All right, we're gonna go back to our vocabulary. For success, listen to the following list of adjectives. They will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Really nice word choice. So, there is a saying, right? Is not what you say, is how you say it, which is correct. However, you could make that even more meaningful by choosing the correct words. And people listen to that. People will pay attention to the types of words that you use. And you don't have to go out of your way. You know, you don't want to go into the dictionary and, and find the hardest word that you could possibly imagine for you to be able to say something, right? The words are out there and there are plenty of them for you to choose from. 
what I always recommend is for you to try to incorporate words that you that you hear in music. Uh, siempre y cuando no sea así, va, muy, muy, no sé, muy, muy mal con el grammar. Um, <coughs> if it's a bad word or, or, or if they're saying it incorrectly, um, right? You might not want to incorporate it into your vocabulary because, you know, you're not a rapper. So people are going to tell you, oh my God, you sound weird, right? Um, but every time you guys, uh, when I have a conversation, for example, if, if I'm meeting with my boss, And usually bosses have like these really, you know, these really intricate ways of telling you that you're doing a bad job and that you need to do it better, right? But they never tell you that. Like you never hear the words that, you know, coming out of their mouth that you're doing something bad. They always find a way with words, you know, in, and then you come out like saying, oh my God, that's so, my boss is so cool. Me regañó, pero no me regañó, right? And it was, you know, it kind of, It kind of they kind of make it work that way because of the words that they choose. Um, I had a boss that what he did is he would turn everything around on me, and it worked fantastically. I recommend that you guys try it. For example, right? Delmi, si me ayuda, Delmi, si me ayuda. It would start like this. So you come into my, you know, we're 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 sitting together, and 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 he would start by saying, Delmi, qué tal? Como como le ha ido el día de hoy? Bien, gracias. ¿Y usted qué tal? Ah, yo estoy muy bien. Muchísimas gracias por eso. A ver, contame, ¿cómo te fue en tu llamada el día de hoy? La llamada estuvo muy bien. Tuve un cliente un poco mm. enojado, pero resolví el caso. Ah, oh, sí, sí, así estuve escuchando. A ver, decime, ¿y por qué crees que te fue bien en esa llamada? Creo que por el entrenamiento que recibí al ingresar a la empresa. Oh, qué bueno, qué bueno, sí, exactamente. A ver, y si pudieras hacer algo diferente, ¿qué hicieras con esa misma llamada? Creo que podría escuchar de nuevo y mejorar en los puntos. Oh. Eh, tal vez le di una buena atención al cliente o que tal vez okay. olvidé mencionar algo. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, ¿crees tú que fallaste algo en esa llamada? Posiblemente tuve algún fallo y no me di cuenta. Excelente, ok. A ver, ya, ¿y cómo quedamos? ¿Cómo vamos a quedar? ¿Qué es lo que vas a hacer en tu siguiente llamada? Voy a poner más atención y a tratar de no cometer ningún error. Muchísimas gracias, Delby. Eh, wow, excelente, right. So, he was actually, you know, it, it, it feels kind of weird because you yourself start saying the bad things that you did. Él nunca te lo... Well, well, I, I wanted to make it, I wanted to make it as, as fluent as possible. Y, y creo que para la mayoría de nosotros, we, we were, we, you know, we would have these type of feedbacks in Spanish. And, and that's exactly how it went, Delmi. Um, you can also, we can also do it in English and it sounds, it sounds pretty much the same, right? And so... What happens is that they start using these, uh, I want to say reverse psychology, but the word choice is also very important, right? And so let's, let's, let's look at some of those. Let's look at some of those. Um, that's why words are very important as well, okay? So let's start off with fashionable. Do you guys, when you guys hear the word fashionable, what, what comes to mind? He looks good. He looks good. All right. Very fashionable, right? You know, the way the suit and the tie. Oh, my goodness. Very, very trendy. Very trendy. I like that. Very neat. Very trendy. Okay. Okay. All right. Como el doctor dijo, como el doctor dijo. <laughs> All right. Okay. The next one, the next one is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Have you guys heard this word before? Gorgeous? Yes. Okay. Uh, when someone or, or, or very, very, uh, is very, very pretty. amazing, for example. Okay. Very pretty, very beautiful just amazing to look at yeah that person is gorgeous 
Now, it doesn't only have to be people. You know, it could be food. Yes. Right? Oh my God, the places. food looks gorgeous. Oh my God. Um, Teacher, yes, you can say gorgeous for uh, personality or only for the um, looking. You know, these would have to be for. The thing is for for personality. You know, how, how do you know that somebody's gorgeous in, in regards to their personality? Mm, I, I would For have example, to say, say it's a gorgeous person, but I don't know. Right. But, but the thing is that no? the, when you say it, when you say that person is gorgeous, the first thing that we think about is the looks, the outside. Yes. It, it, it's okay. very rare when you use it for, for somebody's inside or for, for somebody's personality. So I would I would say because of that I, I would use gorgeous just to talk about looks and how somebody how somebody how somebody looks. All right, now listen to this one: industrious. Wow, that that one sounds industrious. What does mean industrious? You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to imagine somebody being industrious, and all I can think <laughs> about happens. is. A company, yeah, like a like a construction company. Uh, make a product. Make a product. Yeah, really? A company that's making, okay, yeah, like an industry. Yeah. Oh, when the person looks mm. like a, I or have a, I have a hard working. Like a hard worker? Oh, you look industrious. I don't know, though. I, 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 I think wouldn't want. Industrious. Maybe uh, the person talking and, and, and thinking about the bigger uh, project. Like a big project, okay, okay, that makes sense. Like, a, like El Salvadorian people, for example. We are industrious. Trabajadora. <laughs> Trabajadora, industrious. Industrious person. Mm -hmm. But teacher, industrious yes. is only for make a, a product. No, buy and sell products uh, only is so, different. Industrious so, is smell, is smell. Uh, the product buy okay. and, and sell the product so would you say that if i make a pot yeah right i would have to make the pot and i would have to sell it and that would make me an industrious person yeah you like know that, a, like that makes dog. sense like a dog like a, okay that like the shoes right they make the shoes and they also sell it and so yes. that person might be an industrious. Well, you know that that sounds good. That sounds good, Maddie. Okay, all right. We'll leave it like that. How about muscular? Ah, el teacher. Va. ¿Dónde está el baño? ¿Dónde está el baño? ¿Dónde está el baño? Muscular. What do you guys think about muscular? Uh, like the rock. Like the rock. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Muscular is a it's rock. muscular aspect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now these are considered qualities for success. So think about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about slender? Slender. Slender. Have you guys ever heard of slender? Um, when so the people uh, the looks is very thickness. Very actually yeah. very thin. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. But but besides being thin, the arms they look long. So they have long legs, they have long arms. And so whenever yeah. you guys hear somebody being slender, it usually has to do with, with usually very, the person looks like uh, very tall too. Very tall, that's correct. Tall like thin, basketball players. There we go. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There yeah, we go. Yeah. That's it. They're very slender because there's not too many muscle. They're really tall and the limbs are really long. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm All right. Um, the, uh, which one? Models. Yeah. Yeah. You could say that. Now, models are changing. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Um, yes. There, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of. Uh, very positive. Very positive mo movements where you know models are getting you know they're looking a little bit more like real people <laughs> yeah
Sí, porque es que nosotros, es, ha sido una batalla siempre para nosotros los modelos. All right. Next one. Next one. Clever. It's Clever. Have you guys? Smart. Intelligent. Smart person. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Now, clever has to do with being smart, right? But it also has un, un, a little bit of picardia, they call it. So, yes, it has to do with being smart. Yes, it has to do with, you know, you having to think. Oh. But it also has to do with, you know, with, with clever tactics or clever strategy. It, you know, if you say somebody's clever, mm -hmm. también significa que puede ser un, un poco pícaro, you know, in, oh. in, in, in yeah, that way. way. Yeah. Sí, Luis. Spanish in, in salvadoreño, buzo. <laughs> eh, buzo, el niño. Uh, buzo. Uh, pícaro. Nah, okay. Charming. Prince Charming. How oh, about that? Charming. Ideas. Charming. 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 It's like lucky charm. Like yeah. lucky charm, charm, yeah. But, but here, okay. the person is very charming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sangre dulce aquí en El Salvador. ¿Cómo le decimos? Mm -hmm. Ay, es que la sangre oh. es tan dulce que tiene la sangre. Imagine, <laughs> imagine tasting blood and then telling people. Mm, Ay, no. <laughs> so very charming. Es agradable. Like, like agradable. Me. There we go. There we go. Bien agradable. Like okay. Iris Sánchez. Like there we go. Bien agradable. Bien agradable. Okay. Like the next one. The next one is knowledgeable. Thank you, Madeline. You too. Knowledgeable. Yeah. Okay, knowledgeable. yeah. Now, this is more than just having the knowledge, right? This is somebody, that is, uh, they mention it. It's an expert. He is very knowledgeable in what he's doing. So yes. there is a level of expertise involved whenever you guys hear knowledgeable. Este sí sabe bastante. Mm, very knowledgeable. Okay. Please, yeah. Please. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable has to do with high. Knowledgeable has to do with high level of expertise. Like an expert. Okay. Persuasive. Persuasive. Oh, he's very persuasive. Persuasive. <laughs> yeah. Hay vendedores, ¿verdad? Sellers. Sellers. When you're yeah. selling something, you have to be persuasive. <laughs> because people will tell you, no, I don't want it. He was, dele, dele, llévenselo, 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 llévenselo. Y al final, <laughs> pues va. Persuasive. Yeah, keep going. Persuasive. All right. Persuasive. And the, the last word I'm going to leave you with. The last word we're going to leave you with is Tough. 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 Se pronuncia como que si Tough. no, como que si solo hubieran Fs. Tough. 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 He's very tough. Es bien duro él. And it, could, it has to do with conversations. It has to do with interactions. Oh, he's very tough. He's a tough teacher. Why? Why is he a tough teacher? Ah, por los exámenes. You know, he gives some really hard exams. He's very tough. And you can't even tell him, hey, teacher, ¿qué hubo? No, he goes, you know, he's crazy, right? He's very the tough. The exam is tough. The, the exam, exam is tough. you can say that the exam is tough as well. Yes, yes, oh, you can. I All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That <laughs> Rafael, it's very tough. El teacher don't is very like tough. Adeline. Oh, no, no, never. <laughs> Madeline, don't be tough. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, everybody. I'm, we're going to call it a night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys back two minutes, one minute. Um, hopefully to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think we're going to incorporate a little bit of a PowerPoint and see how we can do some role plays maybe. And then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. Fantastic having you here good today. Night. Have a yeah. really good Thank night. You. Get your good rest. It's God saying, se me cuidan y los espero mañana. Good night, good night everybody. Okay. Good night. Send me the topic. I will, Madeline. I will.
Count on it. Bye.